The Congo and surrounding countries were facing conflict. In the smaller Congolese towns, militia groups had formed and were killing their own Congolese neighbors who did not share their ethnic heritage. Freddy was a famous musician and successful business owner. When Freddy refused to join a militia group and kill other Congolese, he, his wife, and children were forced to run for their lives and in the flight, tragically lost their daughter Kapinga. One evening, I see a, a certain group, they came, they start proposing me to join the army. And my answer was no, how, how could I leave my family? And then they went, they said, okay, if you refuse, we're gonna kill you. So one day I went to the church. On my way coming back, I just see a big flame. And my daughter also, she was, uh, she was somewhere, but I don't know. Mia, you think maybe she went with his father at the church? I see one guy, he just say, Freddy, where you going? Don't you see what happened at your house? But I ask him, what about my wife and children? Say, no, you have to run fast because they are looking for you. Arriving in Zimbabwe, I was just alone and frustrated. I leave my country with my three, three boys. And when I reach Zimbabwe, I think maybe I can meet Freddy with my daughter. Freddy was alone. We never knew where is Kapinga. I leave my daughter. She was uh, 11 years old. So I don't know if can I see her again or not. It is so painful. Freddy, Amy and their children were forced into a refugee camp. Amidst the hunger and scarcity, they adopted two children in need, a young niece who suffered from severe physical disabilities and a young boy who had been abandoned. Uh, a refugee camp is a worse place to live. People are, are hungry. Uh, we have poor treatment when children are sick. There is no good life there. In transit center in Harare, there is uh, one girl. For me, I think maybe it's Kapinga. I found it was older. They asked me uh, some few questions. I'm gonna adopt older. I say yes. I know her, her mother. She's my young sister. I don't know where is uh, my young sister. I don't know if she's alive or she passed away. One of our fellows from Congo that he abandoned his own child. So the way I saw the boy, I really feel pity. What I told him, I just tell him, okay, I'm gonna take you, but you promise me one thing, you have to go to school. Oliver was very happy, come and he hugged me. I adopt him, he's my son. So we have to take care of children. We need to, to love, to show them love and to respect them. After six long years in the refugee camp, Freddie, Amy, and their children were resettled to Lansing, Michigan through St. Vincent Catholic Charities and began to find hope once more. When we reached uh, Lansing, we found uh, Alphonsine, our case manager. So they, they give us a code. Uh, we go home, we find uh, food, a new bed, I can say. Everything was Everything ready. Everything was ready. Mm -hmm. It was a warm welcome. Yeah. We're really thankful to the Saint Catholic Saint Vincent. Mm -hmm. They know what they are doing. They are doing a great job. Mm -hmm. we, we are blessed to have you guys here. Saint Vincent helped me to take all my kids to school. When I'll be older, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a technician. I want to be a basketball player. I like to draw. I'm playing with my friends and having fun. The Saint Vincent helped me to have a job. Retirement center. That is where I'm working as a host and a server. And uh, I'm really excited about that. Yeah. I'm, I'm just learning every day since I reach here. I'm dreaming about music. I can talk loud through my music because I am a Christian and I sing gospel music. So we need peace, love, and respect. I am wonderfully made. I am wonderfully made, even my children are wonderfully made.